Yeah, barricade. If I can get barricade out early, that would be super awesome. Because I would be able to keep that block plus all of the accumulated block from the orichalcum and the metallicizes. They would all just start stacking and stacking and stacking. Well, actually, orichalcum would not. That would stop working as soon as I had some accumulated. So maybe that's not quite as good. We'll kind of see how things work out and how I want to play them. Okay, what path are we going to take? So as usual, we want to chase the most of these. So that's the first one on this whole side. If I want one, it's there and or there, depending on which of those two paths. And then they combine there. So it's two to there or one, two to here. So it's two either way. So if that's removed as consideration, then I think it's the question marks and it's looking like this path is going to have the best choices. So here, 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 because I'm not going to get monster encounters on these anymore. So that's the mostly good events. I think and I'll go up to here. looking like I'm just going to stay on that left-hand path after that. Now let's see here. One, two, three. Then I could skip to here. Four, five. Get that one, and then that one. I think that might actually be better. I can get a boatload of... Uh, so one, two, three, four, five... And get five question marks to get to that. So I'd still get to these two. Or I can go this way and get one, two here. Yeah, that would only be four. So, yeah, we're going to go this way. So, here we go. All right, let's see how this works. See how much harder these guys are. Okay, so we start off with 10. He's going to do 10, so I'm already covered for the first round of damage. So Anchor is where we're getting that. Every time we play three attacks, we're going to get four block. He has started with Vulnerable, so he's going to take 50% more damage for this turn. Curses and Relics we know about. That we've already done, that we know about. I gotta constantly remind myself to watch out for when I play powers to see what card got set to zero cost. That can be really powerful if done in the right order. And if I ever do run out of cards, I'll draw a card. That's harder to get to with my low power at the moment. Alright, so we got healed back up to max after that uh, boss fight, the uh, floor boss. Alright, so I didn't get my in my metallicize. Reaper's not gonna be useful. I don't need to defend, so really this turn sucks. Lose one hit point, deal five damage, and do a strike. Um actually this will do more damage, won't it? I think I'm just gonna do I'm just going to do Reaper and then now I keep for I want to get that healing in when I need it so we're going to end up doing Combust Strike and then Pass. Alright. What got zeroed? My Defend which doesn't really help me. Didn't even get through the armor. I forgot about the armor. Um, I think we're done. Alright, so we've got Combust up, so we're going to be taking one point, but again, five to one is a, an acceptable ratio. Alright, we do have Metallicize, we're definitely getting that out no matter what. We've got Battle Trance, and it zeroed out our Strike, so the Strike's free. We've got Clumsy, but that'll disappear as long as we keep it in our hand. 
So I've got two points, and that attack's not costing me anything, but he's going to hit for 18. Um, I'm only going to block for 10. Hmm. He's got plated armor. Gains 14 block at the end of its turn. Losing hit points from an attack reduces plated armor by one. So you gotta basically keep chunking away at this guy to lower that plated armor, otherwise he's just gonna keep adding that thing up. Huh. Alright, that does make this a little more sticky. Um, yeah, let's get some more cards. Alright, so I got... Oh, there's my barricade. I want it. I want my barricade. Thank you very much. Alright, so it's going to be interesting to see how that works out. And I could dual wield... Uh, I'm going to hold off even though it costs zero now. We will strike, but it's not going to get through and do any damage. Yeah, this makes no difference. doesn't affect it. Alright, well, we're going to get hit. I'm not keeping any of the, uh, the armor this time. This, this, this guy's tough. I haven't gotten a single point of damage on him yet. I'm going to negate his attack, so... In the Aura Calcum and what I've got here, he's not going to get anything through. I am frail though, so getting 25% less block. Alright. There's my other Metallicize. I really want to get that out. So we're definitely going to do that. It zeroed out my strike, but yet again, I don't have quite enough. Let's get this out to at least get the vulnerability on him. That'll help in future episodes. Well, I've got most of the stuff out that's going to give me ongoing bonuses. Alright, he's going to blow through my shielding again this round. I'm only going to get 14. No, actually I'm going to get nothing because I've got four points left over, so I'm not going to get the Aura Calcum. Alright, so... How to do this. Um, clumsy will go away. I think I need to do some damage. This guy's just going to keep whittling me down. I've got to get through this. Yep, that's fine. Alright, Reaper's up. So I could get through that and lower it, and that would heal me. Um, let's see here. Or I can dual wield Reaper. Does that work? No. Yes, it does. It's an attack card. So I could dual wield Reaper. That would give me three copies of Reaper. But I've got to deal damage that's unblocked in order for it to really have an effect. Man, this guy's this guy is not fooling. I'm gonna get hit. This guy's gonna hit me hard. My deck doesn't really have a counter for this. It's really gonna suck if I die to the first frickin' monster on the second floor. <laughs> I'm gonna get annoyed. Um Ouch. If I cast the dual wield, I'm not going to get the Reaper off. I'll have three copies of it in the deck to eventually cast, but... Man. I can get my defense up to 15, so I'd only take three. I think I'm going to... I really want to get at least one more strike in to get some damage on him so that it drops this 
plated armor. So if I dual wield the Reaper, that's one point. That gives me one more point. I think I'm going to strike him with it. So let's do it. I just think that's funny as all. I'll get out. <laughs> All right, I've got one point left. Let's strike to hit him and lower that armor by one point. And everything costs. All right, here comes another big hit. Okay, so now we're back to parity, so I'll have 14, he'll hit for 10, so he's not going to do any damage this round. I don't have any specialty things come out. That and that will at least blow through, and then I am done. We're chunking away at him. Alright, this time I'll have 12 to his 10, so we're good. I've got a Reaper I could do for 5. That would get me ahead a little bit, and then I could also strike. That's only going to do 11, and I need 12. Damn it. So I'm going to need to Bash Strike. As much as I want to do a Reaper... Or do I care? He's not going to hurt me. Oh, yeah, the Reaper's not going to help because it has to be unblocked damage for me to heal. So, definitely better to do this. Now his armor's down to 11. Oh yeah, plus if I can get rid of the armor, he's taking the 5 fire damage. All right, I could dual wield a strike, but that's gonna give me extra copies of strikes. But I'll I'm gonna have ten. He's gonna do twelve, so I'm gonna take a couple more points of damage. Um, I could throw a block out, but if I can do twelve, that'll chunk him down again. I think I'm not going to do deal wield. We're going to do that. And then we'll throw out one of these. And that protects me for the round. I think we've got him pretty much done now. Alright, this is his big hit for 18. I'm going to have 11. I can block another 5. So that gets me to 16. I'll take 2 damage. And I can still do a strike, pommel strike, which will lower him again. Yep, let's do it. Block, strike, pommel strike. This guy's just not good for my reapers. I would love to do my reapers, but... Um... What, what could I draw that would be useful? I wouldn't have any energy. I wouldn't be able to cast anything, so... Not useful. I always gotta remember I've got that fire damage. As long as I can clear his armor, he's gonna take the fire damage. Alright, so... Bash for 8. Strike. And then the fire damage will kill him. Or that will kill him. Because <laughs> he's got the vulnerability. Alright, well I came out of that better than I thought I would at the first, so I'm happy about that. What do we got? What do we got? An upgraded hemokinesis. One point, lose two health, and deal 18 damage. Power through, add two wounds to your hand, but gain 15 block. And perfected strike, deal six damage, deals an additional plus two damage for all of your cards containing strike. Huh. So let's say I would have three, maybe on average, cards that said strike. So that would be 12 damage for two power. That's still not a really good trade off, I don't think. Unless you could get that upgraded. 
I'm looking at power through or hemokinesis though. If I, because that's nine to one trade-off, and if I used my copy ability on that and got like four of those, I think that would be really powerful. I think I'm gonna go with that. I've got a pretty good block system for most of the low to mid-level monsters and damage, so I'm gonna go with Hemokinesis. It's an upgraded one, so I don't have to worry about upgrading it later. All right, first of our special encounters. It will not be a monster. In an abandoned temple, you find a giant book open riddled with cryptic writings. Um, I think this might be the Necronomicon, and I think this one can hurt us pretty bad. I'm worried about taking this. Let's do it. Ah, uh, the book seems to be an ancient named Niao. This piques your interest. You have a general feeling of malaise. Alright. <laughs> Come on. God damn. Alright, that was painful. But we got a book. We got Nilri's Codex. At the end of each turn, you can choose one of three random cards to shuffle into your draw pile. And what? End of each turn, you can choose one of three random cards to shuffle into your draw pile. Really? Just totally random within the entire game? Within the deck that I'm using? Of my own? It won't be of my own cards, I don't think. I don't know. I think that'll be worth it if I can stay alive. Um, I've got Encounter, then two more question marks, and then I can rest. Yeah, I've still got these two way up there, so I'm not taking that path. So I rest here, then I hit those question marks. So I just got one more fight, and then basically I've got five good events one rest and then well possibly good I mean I just took a bunch of hit point damage to get that book but that seems really really powerful considering it's at the end of every turn not just once per combat so alright let's do this fight please let me survive this fight alright haven't fought these kinds of things before they are all weakened so they're all vulnerable and Flight, reduce attack damage taken by 50%, canceled if dealt attack damage three times in one turn. Alright. I thought... I think if you hit them three times in a turn, they fall to the ground and they lose their flight status. I think that's how that works. So I've got 10 damage coming in. I start with 10 armor, so I've already can ignore that for this first round. Alright, what do we got? I do have one of my metallicize, so I can metallicize, pommel strike, strike. This will gain me four more block. Unfortunately, I can't get three attacks in in one turn. I don't have another attack. Well, well we, I might. Let's do a Pommel Strike. 28, 31, 29. Let's go ahead and Pommel Strike you. Ooh, we got one. Ah, uh, do I hold off on Metallicize? I can knock this guy out of the air at the cost of getting my Metallicize up. I think I'm going to risk it. Getting the damage and knocking him out of the air is, I think, more important. Alright, end of my turn, choose a card. Rampage, Headbutt, and Second Wind. Second Wind, exhaust all non-attack cards in your hand and gain five block for each. So that could include the cards like Clumsy and the other cards that I don't like or don't want. 
So that sounds pretty good. Rampage, deal 8 damage. Every time this card is played, increase its damage by 4 for this combat. Holy mackerel. Alright. Well, it's either second wind or rampage. Um, I think these guys are going to be fairly low on the damage output side, so I'm going to go with Rampage. Alright, so he's knocked down and stunned. These guys won't make it through my my damage, or my block. My initial block. Alright. So I got Reaper up. 5 damage to all enemies. Healed for unblocked damage, so... These guys can't block it, really, so that'd be 5, 10, 15 points of healing. There's 8 points coming at me, but I'm going to get 6 automatic block, barring any other changes. I think I have to Rampage. That's 5. And then... Or, I mean, I'm going to have to Reaper. And then I'll still have enough for a Rampage. And Yeah, perfect. That's perfect. Alright, gets me back up to 55, and then I can Rampage to... F oh, can't quite finish him off this round. He's not vulnerable now. That's alright. That'll increase its value, so it'll be 12 next time it shows up. And we are done. Oh, I am not going to be able to get used to this. <laughs> Huh. That's not quite five to one trade off. That's almost eleven to one. It's pretty much your entire turn to do thirty two damage to something, but it could be critical if you get it at the right time. I think I'm going to go with that. And I will end up taking a couple of points of damage. Okay, I see Dual Wield showed up finally. Combustion, at the end of your turn, lose one hit point and deal five to all enemies. So once again, that's a good AoE type of setup. Um, I've got nothing else really that's going to hit. Uh, that's a single use 20 points. He's aggressive, so he's going to do 10 points on his own. Currently, I'm going to block 6 because I don't have either of my metallicizes out. I don't have a good way of increasing my block, unfortunately, with only a single defend. I can bust. It'll kill that one. I could dual wield combust and then start stacking up the fire damage. I think that's the best play. Alright, and then play a couple of these. And... Oh, play all of these. <laughs> and play the strike. Uh, fire's gonna kill him. So we'll start working on... Big Bird here. And, like I said, the defend's not worth it, because I'm gonna get six from the Aura Calcum. So... Oh my god, I, got, I can't get used to these things. Um, let's go with Battle Trance. It's free card turnover. So fire's gonna, fire's gonna kill them next turn no matter what, so... Anything I can do to get myself healed... 
I never did get metallicize out. Barricade's useless now. I can do a bludgeon for my turn to f kill one of them, but the fire's going to kill them both anyway. Let's go ahead and do that. And four points. Uh, I still can only do one thing. Or I can do bash metallicize, but... Let's bludgeon... Bludgeon you, just cuz. And in turn... And... Doesn't matter. Alright, so... 49 out of 80. I can't remember where I started. I think I was a little below that. I think I was... 38 or so, so I gained some. Regen potion. I'm gonna get rid of one of these elixirs. Discard. Take the regen. Oh boy. Infernal blade upgraded. Add a random attack to your hand. I gotta take that upgraded infernal. Zero cost and... Yeah, gotta take it. Alright, so we're off to our happy session now. Hopefully I don't hit any more of those, take a bunch of damage. Strawberry, raise your max hit points by 7. Alright. Not the best, but we'll take it. Okay, oh crap. Well, that's not good. Damn it. <laughs> um, what's Decay do? At the end of your turn, take two damage. I think I'm going to take the curse anyway. Okay, we're not going after him. We're leaving him alone. We're instead taking that one and that one. So, off to the campfire we go. Do I... It's going to be question mark, question mark, treasure chest, but then I've got a tough fight. But do I take this opportunity to upgrade a card? I don't think I'm going to get any healing between here and there. If I stop and heal, I'll be pretty close to max, if not max. No, I think I have to heal. So, yep, yeah, max this out. Alright. That'll give me some wiggle room if I have any hit point loss on these things. Alright, get 100 gold. So if I pay 100 gold, I'll get jaxed. A zero cost card, skill, lose 3 hit points, gain 2 strength. So basically you do two extra damage every round, or every attack from then forward. Huh. So would I pay 100 gold in the marketplace for this card? Um... 